Hey guys, I just see 101 here, yet again bringing you the second of my Magic 2012 goodbye videos. This time it is my guilty pleasures of the decks that I know aren't top tier, but uh, I still have real fun playing, and this time is Dark Heavens. I just enjoy playing this deck, and here's this guy's playing Cloudburst. I don't think I've ever played this matchup before. But um, yeah, Dark Heavens, is, I've always loved this deck, I've always had so much fun with it. Um, I know it's not the strongest deck, and it gets beat by any aggro deck normally. I don't think Cloudburst can, Cloudburst can count as aggro, depends what creatures he's running. He's running more than 60 cards, so um, let's see what he's got. Spark, got Spark Mage, so he's probably going to do that to my face. Oh no, he's going to kill my, my Doom Traveler. Fair enough. Um, but I did get a 1-1 one, one Flyer out of it, so I'll take it. Um, but Dark Heavens is just so, it's such a fun deck. You just, you just, all you have to do is get to your bombs and then you are fine. I'm going to have Angelic Destiny soon, although against Cloudburst not going to be as useful because all they're going to do is going to bounce it and then and then Angelic Destiny goes bye bye. So, although I'm happy to see Angelic Destiny in my hand, if it was against any other deck than Realm and Cloudburst, then you know, even Trinity because they do have the Regress and Mana War. But um, this card is so good, so good. I mean, just like, what's this guy? Lightning Serpent for one? Is that what it is? Okay, he's just, he's just showing me he's got it. He's showing me... Okay. Wow, this guy's bad. What is he doing? <laughs> well. There's Pestilence. Alright, so I guess I'm going to lay that so I can get my double plane. Um, swing on in. Pump my guy. And um, I, I don't know why he did that, that licks. I mean, he hasn't even got a graveyard to shuffle. Um, I don't know why I did that then. I normally do that on their step, but never mind. Get my second plane. So next turn, I can Angelic Destiny, if I so please. Swing in for a lot of damage. Um, but let's see what he does here. Maybe he'll waste a bounce spell. Okay, he's got another Spark Mage to kill my Spirit Token. Yep. So that is fair enough. He has three cards in hand. He can swing in for one. I'll be swinging. He could just into the royal, into the royal knock kick. That would suck. That would pretty much suck balls. Um, but let's see what we can do here. Angelic destiny onto you. Watch it get bounced. Watch it get bounced. If it lets me attack, I would rather like to attack while I at least can. Okay, so no bounce yet. He's probably going to wait till next turn so he can kick it. No, I don't know why I was going to start to do that, but I better not. Um, let's see what he's got here. He's only got one again. Never mind, he's got two of those. Um, this is probably going to get into the Royals. I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't. Or even Ether Trade wins. Um, and just so much you can deal with that. Um, I don't know why Dag Cultist isn't one of them. Sacrifice could just do it. Could you play? Okay, that's fine. He can swing in for two. Um, next turn, I could lay ob, but I don't really want to. Um, there's pillory. Does that say activated abilities can't be activated? Nope, just I can't attack block. That's faith fetters. So I am just going to swing on in. Attack. Pump, pump. I don't know. Did he stop the timer there? I don't know. Anyway, heal down at six. Pillory that, and he needs to do something special, namely bounce my guy. That's the main thing he needs to do. Um, but he takes one damage, so he's actually down at five. Um, next turn, if I get a land, I'll lay ob land. That deals three damage. And one more upkeep, so that'd be four damage. I just need to find one damage. If he doesn't get rid of this guy's game anyway, so um, he might as well swing it. It's not like he can block. And then he could have shot. He could have lightning bolt, lightning bolt. That'd be pretty annoying. Where's the bounce? Where is it? I know you got it there somewhere. I know. Okay, he's gonna do it all instant speed and stuff. Okay, well I can lay on. Lay land. 
To you, definitely to you, not to me. Um, I don't know if he's considering bouncing that, but the ability would still go off and he needs to bounce this guy anyway. So I assume he has the bounce spell. Yeah, I know, I get the drill. What? Oh, you just... Okay, never mind. He's just giving up. Which is fair enough. Oh, he, no, he's, no, that he costs a mountain, doesn't it? Unattap, yeah, okay, I don't know what he was planning on there, but hey-ho. Um, and he left the game. <laughs> so, um, that's Dark Heavens, I really enjoy that deck, and, um, yeah, that's, I'm not doing this in any order of which one I prefer more or less or anything like that, but this is my Guilty Pleasures, and, um, Dark Heavens is the first one, so, um, hope you guys enjoyed, I'll see you guys in a minute, bye. And we're back with part two, and it, you're, you're thinking, actually, come on now, don't be silly, this can't be fun to play, but it is, it is. It is Trinity of the Elements. It is pretty damn fun to play. I'm going to keep this hand. I have no ramp though, which is the is the one thing. I'm going to need to rely on the deck to, to draw me a card. Hopefully this guy is here um, in the lobby. I just asked him to wait for a second because I was talking. Um, but he's got a cool name, so I'll let him off. Ori Setna Solaris. Pretty cool name. Um, so hopefully he isn't looking away. Okay, it looks like he mulliganed down to five. So, And it looks like it might be Realm. Um, I guess you need some of that kind of luck with Trinity. I mean, a lot of people hate Trinity, and uh, it's totally understandable why. But I want to be able to get my Blood Braid turn 3. So that is definitely beneficial, unless he does, he has a counter, of course. Which is definitely also a possibility. Um, oh no, but he is playing the Depths of the Ancient. And he mulliganed down to 5. He should have the land. Okay, so he's only got 3 cards in hand, so he can't exactly really have much. Um, so it's... Trinity versus Ancient Depths. So I'm going to ramp up. I do have a bit of bounce. My one bit of control. Um, so I need another forest. So next turn I can play Blood Braid. So hopefully I get a free Cultivate. That'd be decent. Because then I can get Shroudy McSherald shout out a turn early. Um, if if he hit has Land Up 4, it's definitely not. Considering he went down to 5. Land Up 4 is definitely not. It might not happen. <laughs> um, I haven't played much Trinity against Ancient Depths. I can imagine it being a good, a really good matchup for Ancient Depths because Trinity isn't the Agroas living destiny. Um, so at least we'll know if he's got a cre big creature or not. And he has Primeval Titan, so that's only two land away. Um, but I'm going to be able to get in there with Blood Braid. Um, he's doing that all main phase and stuffs. So let's play Blood Braid, and we get a free Primal Force Mage. Nice, that couldn't have worked out much better. That was pretty damn perfect, because now I'm going to be swinging in for six this turn, thanks to a good old free Primal Force Mage. Blood Braid Elf is so good, I mean, that's what makes this deck playable, that one card. Um, so that just wiped away his Living Destiny that he just did. I hope I didn't call it Living Death earlier, because, you know, I know it's not Living Death. And right, so we know he's got a Primeval Titan in hand, and that's probably his biggest creature. So, he, well, we know it's his big, biggest creature. What is this? Is this treasure hunt? He's off on a treasure hunt. Let's see what he can find. He finds a land and levitation. Levitation might be a bit annoying, but... Um, so there's his land that we knew he had. Does he have a Cultivate to go with that? Because if he does, that's Primeval Titan next turn, but it doesn't look like it. And we might have a Windstorm in hand, I don't know. That guy is huge. Um, could play Riku Ma, Raku Ma, sorry. Um, he is haste. He'd be a foe. No, I, I think this guy is definitely the best. Um, target permanent. So I could even mess with him as well. I could like bounce a land so he can't even play his Inferno, his Primeval Titan. Um, I'm swinging in for a lot here. I know he doesn't have any instants. Um, Right, so what is he down to? Nine. Okay, so I'm just going to bounce a land. What does he have? Island. Is that any two lands there? Island. Well, I'm going to bounce his forest just to be a dick. Because, um, you know, now he's that's sent back a turn that should be game. Um, that goes away, but that will have the possibility of coming back. Well, it will come back. But um, now he can't play Primeval Titan, which he... Well, I don't know if he'd have been able to. I didn't know if he had the land in hand. Mind control is pretty good. It does. It is tap, though. Um, 
so it should be fine because this will be six. Now I'll take him down to one. Ah, uh, okay, that should be good now. So I just play this from the graveyard if it lets me. And play fires when it lets me. <laughs> um, so swing in. Do do. Stop timer. Sacrifice fires and give plus two plus two. So that's that's game. Um, feel sorry for the guy. He went down to he went down to a mulligan. And um, to a mulligan of five, and um, I, I screwed him with the land there. Um, he could have got Primeval Titan out, and that could have saved him the game. But luckily, I had the regress, and I was able to bounce one of his lands that pretty much won me the game. So, I hope you guys enjoyed Trinity. I know a lot of you may not agree with me, but um, I think it's a fun deck to play, especially when it runs well and your opponent gets screwed. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in game number three. Hello, guys. And this is game three, deck number three, and this is Grey Whispers. I forgot the name for a second. But um, this is the same guy um, that we played against Ancient Depths. He's kept a 7 land hand. I assume he's playing Ancient Depths again. I felt bad for him, so I thought I'd give him another game. But I am using um, using the other deck. I need to get this done because I haven't got much time to get it recorded. Because Magic 2013 is right around the corner. And I cannot wait. I'm planning loads of videos on opening day. I'm planning a stream. If you don't know my stream, I'll put a link in the description. Um, I stream every now and then, but from when 2013 comes out, I'll be streaming a lot more often. Um, drawing a land like a boss, which is always good. Next one I can mind draw, and then I'll have two dudes. Then I'll have blood gift demon if I draw the land. So I am in. Uh, I know I'm playing ancient depths, which is this isn't the best of matchups. But um, I assume it's gonna be land cultivate. There we go. That's how ancient depths does things. Um, so it does mean one less thing he has to discard though, because he does have an extra land in hand now. Doubt he's going to want to discard the land though, but most people do discard the land before. Um, before they're big creatures for some reason. I mean, it's just something that they do. Dumblood is lovely, but let's get this Mind Rock going. So he'll be down to four cards. Next turn I can two dudes. If he plays some beast, um, I can Doom later. And then that'll get me one cl step closer to my... Quest of the Great Law Land, Levitation. Levitation's a good card, but I guess he thinks it's not going to be too useful here. Next turn I can drop two dudes, hopefully I'll draw the land as well, so then after that I can play Blood Gift Demon. Um, that is an Explore, so he can play an extra land this turn. And he gets to draw a card, which is always good against Great Whispers. Um, there's another Explore. This is a good ramp for him, another draw a card. Um, and, a, and that's good, that's that's not bad for him, that, that turn worked out quite well. He has only two cards in hand, so now instead of a land I'd rather draw Mind Rot, because then I know he's top decking. Another Doom Blade, okay. Well, I'm just going to play two dudes. Um, a Mind Rot would have been nice there, just so I know that for the rest of the game he will be top decking, um, unless he draws a Tidings. Um, so he's taking damage though. Um, He'll probably play land, Shroudy McShroud Trail. Shroudy McShroud Trail would probably be the worst case scenario. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know how it works. Um, I know how it works. Not quite sure what to do here. Hypnotic Spectre. Not really useful. But might as well play it because I've got nothing else to do. Hopefully the rack can come to my saviour. Um, so if he swings in at least he'll be discarding cards and then he'll be taking damage from the rack um, that's, that's what I've got to base my hopes on to be honest I don't think I can really win this game without the rack if he overextends hopefully I can get some life somehow maybe a consumed spirit even though I don't have that much land um, maybe somehow I can slip a damnation into my deck that would, that would work well as well but um, he's thinking about it. He's got something that he can do. Maybe he can kill my flyer. Uh, my mutate my flyer. He has one card in hand. Um, so he's going to keep it in hand by the look of things. Is he going to swing it or is he going to hold back so he doesn't just have to discard that card? He is. Okay, so Hypnotic Spectre has done its job. It has scared him so he's not going to discard. Um, there's Liniana Spectre so he's going to discard it anyway. Um, so I'm expecting it to be Beast. Because he really didn't want to lose that card. I don't know if it was the rack. Okay, it was right of replication. That is huge for me. 
Um, so now he's top draw, top decking, but um, he does have a Schrodinger McShrow child on the field. Um, so, but he's taken three damage a turn from the rack. Um, there's the Tidal Kraken, but it can be destroyed, so I'm not too worried about that. I'll destroy that at instep, but he will be taking three more damage. Um, I can just chump, chump out. Um, actually, for this turn, I'm just going to take it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take it this turn. Um, let's see what I draw. I draw Consume Spirit. So I am just going to Doomblade you. I'll do it now so I can swing on my 2-2s. Two um, and I'm a couple away, so I can, I'm going to swing in with these. Do, 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 if it lets me, there we go. So he's going to take three more damage, plus this, he's going to block two, so he's taken four. Um, three more, so he'll be at seven. Um, I can block his Shroudy McShroud Shroud. I do have Consume Spirit for a bit of life. The only life gain he has is Living Destiny. But um, let's see what he draws. He's drawn a Coil and Oracle. Let's see what he gets off the top. He gets Undo Giant. Not too shabby. Um, he kind of needs to start holding back now, really. Because he is in dangerous territory. He, is, he could die here if he swings in. Stop timer. Um, I'm just going to kill his Undo Giant. Um, so that's two counters. And he is at three. I now have Blood Gift Demon. And now wait a minute, I can do that for three. Um, if I swing with everyone... This should be game. If I swing with everyone, um, he'll block the 2-2 two, two, and the 2-2. Two, two. So he takes 4. I can consume spirit for 3. Take him to Steve's. Oh no, he's got coin. I forgot about coin oracle. But he, I, I win next time because of the rack anyway. I mean, it is irrelevant. Um, so I am just going to do this for 2. Players, you... And then the rack should kill him on his upkeep. That is the plan anyway. So there we go. Grave Whispers getting the win against Ancient Depths. Um, I beat this guy with Trinity and Grave Whispers against his Ancient Depths. So that's it for... Um, that's it. I think this is going to be the last Magic game I upload on my channel. I think I've got a couple more to go on... Um, to go on Jules Community, a couple more naughty nineties. I sent one over to Laser, and then that means I need one more to be uploaded, which I still haven't recorded. But this is probably going to be the last Magic 2012 gameplay on my channel for a while, um, until I'm bored in 2013 and I go back. But um, so yeah, hopefully 2013 will come out soon, and um, I'll be uploading Borderlands in the meantime. Maybe some zombies if I get round to it. Maybe Diablo if I get better at it. And um, so yeah, so this is the goodbye to Magic 2012. And I'll see you guys in Magic 2013. Anyways.